Welcome dear friends for another exciting video. In previous tutorial we just started dynamic simulation in Aspen Hisis. So I just thought that it would be beneficial if we have some uh, clear understanding of instrumentation and control to, to do the dynamic simulation in Aspen Hisis in a better way. So in coming three videos I will briefly cover almost uh, the main concepts related to the instrumentation and control okay so this one is the first one and here we are going to cover basic definitions uh, so the learning objective are the things that you are going to learn in these tutorials are number one what is control loop and what are <coughs> the tasks necessary tasks that uh, uh, must be performed to complete a process control loop and then we will uh, see different definitions of uh, different terms like process variables set points manipulated variables uh, measure variable errors and offsets etc and then we will see the control algorithm what is it and uh, how to write it and then finally we will see uh, what is feedback and feed forward control loop strategy and their uh, specific advantages and disadvantages so let's start with first control loop <coughs> so uh, imagine you are sitting in front of a fire in terrible winter and you are not feeling comfortable so what you will do you will uh, put a wood log into the fire to increase the uh, or the warmth from the fire so you can feel comfortable so here in this example the a variable that is a temperature so it's fell down uh, below to the set point that you feel that is the set point is your comfort level i mean if you are not if you are feeling cold so you want to have more heat so you will put more wood into the fire to increase the fire and you took action to bring the process back into the desired condition by adding fuel or wood to the fire so it is just a very simple day-to-day -day life uh, example of a control loop so <clears throat> actually in any control loop there are three tasks uh, which have to be performed number one measurement number two comparison number three adjustment for example in this ex in this example uh, the your body feels either cold or warm so this is the measurement of the variable that is a temperature and then your brain uh, compare with your comfort level either you feel comfortable or not so if you are feeling uh, uh, coldness so you take action and that is the adjustment to put uh, to increase the fire to put fuel to to have more fire and on on the other hand if you feel more warm then you simply maybe put water on the fire to to shut down it so this is the example so another example for to for better understanding when you are driving so you can see your eyes act as a sensor so they are measuring the distance between your uh, car to the next car and in your brain uh, you are comparing uh, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, this the the values i i mean uh, the distance uh, and uh, the safe distance and then according to that you are moving the uh, steering wheel that is called the final control element or the adjustment so this one is the measurement this one is the comparison that is the brain and in uh, uh, instrumentation we call it controller and the final element there could be many and another example 
particularly like industry so there is a water tank so here is a level indicator or level transmitter so uh, uh, this green line represents the maximum level that could maintain inside the uh, tank so the level indicator measure the level inside the tank and send the signal to the controller that is the level indicator controller where this uh, measurement is compared with the given set point that is this maximum level and according to the this comparison the final action is taken either to open or close this valve to maintain the level inside so this one is measurement this one is comparison and this one is adjustment so there are many different instruments and devices uh, may or may not be used in control loops for example transmitters sensors controllers valves pumps but the three tasks of the measurement these three tasks are always present in any control loop measurement comparison and adjustment okay so this is the basic theory what is control loop i hope you understand it so let's move forward so what is process variable so process variable is a variable uh, is condition that can change the process in some way for example the the example of process variable for example like pressure flow level temperature density ph mass conductivity so all these variable that change and uh, <coughs> sorry that influence the overall uh, process so these called these are called process variables so the next definition is set point so the set point is the value for a process variable that is desired to be maintained for example uh, if i talk about uh, this level uh, water level uh, inside the tank so i want that the level maintained at 50 percent so the 50 percent is the set point and the level is the process variable so the next one is manipulated variable what is it the factor that is changed to keep the measured variable at set point is called manipulated variable so again if we look at this example so the measurement and the control so the comparison of these two uh, is the output of this uh, controller and the manipulated variable is the actuator position the actuator position of this valve so again we can see the factor that is changed to keep the measured variable in that case is the measure variable is the level so to maintain the level at the set point what should uh, what uh, what is the main parameter that is going to be changed is the position of the valve so that is the manipulated variable so next terminology is error what is error error is actually a difference between the measured variable and the set point and it can be either positive or negative so take another example of heat exchanger so the uh, uh, the temperature that is uh, uh, temperature of the uh, fluid coming out from the heat exchanger is at 100 degrees c uh, but the set point to given this temperature controller is 110 degrees c so the difference between uh, the current or measured value minus uh, the uh, 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 the set point is actually called error and in control strategy we want that error should be minimized but error is not that simple so there are many other factors which are involved in error so we are going to explain error in more details 
so this you can see on this right hand side this is the error plot uh, that define different uh, uh, different parameters for example what is magnitude of error the magnitude of error is simply the deviation between the values of the set point and the process variable so if you we look on this figure this straight line is the given set point and the deviation of this process variable uh, from at each interval so this is the time axis so uh, maybe at th uh, three minute the deviation is higher compared to at one minute so the difference between process variable and the set point at any given point at any given uh, time is the magnitude of error at that particular uh, time interval so duration what is duration duration refers to the length of a time that an error condition has existed for example uh, errors uh, the the we know that the difference between process variable or the measured value and the set point is error so from here to here the error is maximum but after passing this time the error is no more so the this duration is called simply it is the duration uh, in uh, instrumentation uh, uh, terminology the next is the rate of change so the rate of change is shown by the slope of the error plot so this is the error plot uh, main uh, line so the rate of change of, of the error is this one and it's important terminology and it tells you uh, at each interval of time how fast or how slow a uh, process variable is approaching to the set point so it's important and you will see in coming lectures uh, uh, different types of a controller like proportional proportional indicator proportional uh, in, uh, uh, integrated and derivative control so we will learn in coming lectures in details different types of controller and then you will see the rate of change uh, term and their effectiveness so the next one is the offset what is offset offset is actually it's a sustained deviation of a process variable from the set point for example uh, 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 the the set point for uh, hot fluid coming out from a heat exchanger was set at 100 degree C but the process variable is always at 100.5 degree C so the offset is the difference between the set point and the process variable when they are reached at steady conditions so this is the offset and in this case the difference of set point and process variable at sustained condition is called offset and in that case it's 0 0.5 degree c so let's move for forward now the control algorithm actually it's the scheme uh, of a process control for example the v is a function of positive or negative error so what is v v is actually the final control element mostly it is valve but it's not uh, like always that it should be valve it could be a pump a compressor uh, or any other um, uh, instrumentation so the the uh, for example if we talk about the valve so the valve position is a function of error uh, that is uh, generated and you know the error was uh, the difference between set point and process variable so you can see here the process variable is measured through some indicator uh, for example temperature uh, indicator so uh, temperature transmitter sent the measured value to the controller and controller already have set point from DCS and now the the comparison is done between process variable and set point and the error is generated 
and this error is uh, sent in the form of manipulated variable to the final control element that is the well position and the well position is uh, whatever the change due to this error is sent back to the controller to to confirm uh, what is the uh, current well position so this is the control strategy that usually uh, use in uh, in uh, in industry okay so let's move forward so these are the two uh, very famous uh, control uh, loops one is the feedback control so first we will discuss it a feedback loop actually measures a process variable and then sends the measurements to the controller for a comparison to the set point if the process variable is not at the set point then control action is taken to return the process variable to the set point so look at this uh, figure on the right hand side again there is a uh, water tank in which uh, heat uh, or steam coil is introduced to increase the water temperature so here we have our temperature indicator our temperature transmitters that measure the temperature of this water so after measuring temperature it sends the signal to the controller and controller already have a set point and it compare the measurement with the set point and generate uh, error and the error is sent in the form of manipulated variable to open or close the steam valve according to the error generated so this control loop is a feedback loop uh, so there are some advantages and disadvantages of this uh, control strategy so first we will talk about advantages the advantage is that the corrective action uh, is taken independent of the source and the type of disturbance what does it mean it means that this increase in temperature or decrease in temperature could happen via in any way for example it could uh, if I say okay the, the uh, temperature indicator sends uh, less temperature compared to the set point so the there are number of reasons for low temperature one of the reason is could be a uh, higher flow rate of uh, uh, cold water into or maybe the temperature drop of this uh, cold water that is entering here or the other one is the flow rate of steam or the steam pressure okay but in this strategy uh, this control does not uh, take care that the the disturbance is uh, 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 is coming either by this stream or the other stream through which uh, it is uh, uh, taking measurement or final control element okay and it requires minimum knowledge about the process that is going to be controlled so it just require only the temperature and then it will act according to the uh, the error generated here so here we do not need to introduce any mathematical relationship between process variable and the control variable so but what are the disadvantages the disadvantage is the very first disadvantage is that uh, this uh, control strategy only act when the disturbance is already happened for example if the temperature set point for this uh, water is 50 so when the temperature is increased above 50 or decreased below 50 then it will start to take action so it cannot anticipate or predict the coming changing uh, into the process 
okay so the second step is again no predictive control action to compensate for the effects of noun or measurable disturbances okay so the third disadvantage is it may not be satisfactory for the processes with the large time constant or long time delays for example if the uh, disturbance is uh, in is continue for longer period of time then this system only this loop cannot tackle uh, tackle it and uh, you should have to introduce maybe feed forward plus feedback to to control that kind of uh, uh, that kind of a process okay so this is all about uh, feedback control so it's very basic general uh, and i hope you understand it next move to the uh, feed forward control sorry for i did not change here so it's a feed forward control so what is it in feed forward control is a control system that anticipates load disturbances and controls them before they can impact the process variable so that is the beauty of feed forward uh, control that it anticipates the future load disturbances that are going to impact okay so if you look on this picture so you can see that uh, we have a flow transmitter that is uh, on a cold water that is entered into the into the uh, water tank so the flow uh, reading is measured and sent to the controller and controller have a set point uh, for the uh, for this uh, hold, uh, for the water temperature and here there should be a mathematical relationship between the flow rate of this uh, uh, this water and the opening of this uh, control valve so the very first advantage of the feed forward control is it simply error prevented here instead of error corrected in feedback control error is corrected but here in feed forward it is always tried to prevent the error so the disadvantages of feed forward control loops are uh, it is difficult to account for all possible load disturbances in the system for each uh measuring parameter you should have uh, uh different uh, measuring uh, indicators for flow you should put flow transmitter for temperature temperature indicator pressure indicator so it is totally depends on uh, different uh, uh, measuring parameter or process variable so for each process variable you have to introduce uh, new ft or uh, new uh, indicator or sensor okay so another thing here is we have to at least provide uh, uh, approximate process model uh, which is uh, which should be available to know how the controlled variable responds to changes in both the disturbance and the manipulated variables so these are the uh, disadvantages but the advantage of the feed forward is that it's is the uh, it anticipates the load disturbances and it prevents the error before it disturbs the overall process so it is not uh, the corrective action like in feedback but in general uh, in industry uh, most of the time feed forward and feed uh, back feed forward and feedback uh, those are uh, uh, used uh, in a combination so that's all for this that's all for today's uh, tutorial i hope you understand the basics of instrumentation and control uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like and share my channel for more videos like this one in upcoming videos we are going to discuss uh, different types of controller and then uh, how to tune controller 
with different tuning methods and then we will go to Aspen Hisis uh, to tune different controllers and we'll practice feed forward and feedback controller maybe in in future lecture we will see the ratio controller split controller cascade control scheme so until next video take care bye bye